Bitch, I be moving like a van. Can't sleep, bitch, I'm running to them bands. One week, how I make 30 bands. Demon, boy, your ring getting spent. I don't gotta fall clean for a check. I don't gotta do shit, but finesse. Count me, cause they know I'm a threat. We rich hoes gon' blow for a check. Fuck two hoes tryna see. Yo, welcome to 25 Days of Marzo, the second day. Second day of 25 Days of Marzo. And we are reacting to this right here, bruh. The suspect in Kelpie fight. Now, this this has been going a little viral on the pages, but to those who don't know, um, skip through real quick. These two met before. They were on a um it, it was like a fake, it was like a fake pimp podcast or something. No, not, not a fake pimp podcast. I'm tripping. Um, Sharp and Suspect, who are two quote unquote pimps. I don't know if I don't know if you want to call them that, you know. Feds might be watching. But there are two people who are in the game, and this dude was exposed for being a fake pimp because he was on soft white underbelly, and he basically said that he learned pimping from YouTube. Weird as hell, I know. Um, and these two um, got into an interview, and we're going to see how it ends. Let's get into it. No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world, and today, pretty excited because we have somebody who's a uh making a big splash on the scene yes sir kelby is in the Hello, building kelby uh also known as kelby the p a matter of fact you can call me whatever you want just don't call me broke the fuck that's yeah. right out here today and then <laughs> this nigga said, yo this, this man really said i'm little kelby you can call me anything you want just don't call me broke <laughs> yeah dude just call me whatever you want don't call me bro bro okay hold on hold on little gripe right here look look at the yo okay I can't stand these joints right here, bro. These these fucking ease, bro. These those these fucking vape shits, bro. Stop doing these, bro. It's bad for your health. Damn. Like, bro. I'm telling you, the the people that do these are gonna be the ones that's gonna end up. You feel me? I ain't gonna say too much. You feel me? Co-hosting with me. Vic says, Gabriel, the splurger, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, almighty for the album, because the record too short, you dig what I'm saying? No, the real deal, you know what I'm saying? Holyfield, you know what I'm saying? Not the impersonation. Damn, he just came with a... This man said, you know what I'm saying, like at least four times. Someone put a, you know what I'm saying, counter in the comments, bro. This man said, you know what I'm saying, at least four times. But he was like, hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, get back, you know what I'm saying? Hey, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, you know what I'm saying? The whole little monologue like OJ the Juice. <laughs> <laughs> that's fire um okay so i wanted to like hop in here yeah. and attempt to you know have a conversation that perhaps can build on some of the other conversations that have already happened yeah. so let's <laughs> let's lay this all out so yeah. you had a very very uh viral appearance on soft white underbelly yeah, yeah, yeah. tell me what happened small little gripe adam what the fuck happened here what the hell is this Look, can, can I zoom in, bruh? What the hell is going on with this, bruh? Yo, what is this? Yo, you need to get this checked out, Slim. What is that? That shit like a goddamn... That shit like a goddamn worm, like, came out his shit, bro. What the fuck, bro? No, what is that? And, like, what... what? was your life like in the lead up to that why'd you decide to do that uh in the lead up to that i was uh i was hustling i don't want to say specifics but i was doing a little a little shit in the streets and then basically i was like you know I what i feel like you've already filled this in about what you were doing yeah <laughs> let me go back real quick do y'all see the way adam turns to the left and looks at suspect bro like you you know when someone's like capping like sh you you can feel when yo you know when someone's capping like shit and it's, it's not a race thing, bro, because there are white pimps out there, but this nigga is capping out his ass. Shit in the streets. And you then basically be. I was like, you know I what? I feel like you've already filled this in about what you were doing. Yeah, in the I mean, well, well, Sharp made some accusations <laughs> about what I was doing. I don't want to admit uh, or deny those, but okay. yeah, basically I was getting money and shit. And then that hustle came to an abrupt end when I got raided. So then I switched into another one because I seen some people that needed help. And, you know, I just jumped into the game. Describe getting raided, though. Oh, uh, well, I was outside vaping and shit and, like, you know, still hustling. And the girls were inside um, and basically just got a no-knock raid. They came in. They pulled me outside some undercovers and they, like. You were, you, you were outside. They did a no-knock raid. 
and they pulled you outside? Nigga, what the fuck? What? 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 Make, make this shit make sense. What, what are you saying? What are you saying? This nigga said, this nigga said, oh, I was outside smoking my vape. The girls were inside. They did a no knock raid and they pulled me outside. How the fuck did they pull you outside when you were already outside? Oh, what the? Oh, okay. I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe, maybe they did some when Guardian Leviosa shit and he went from outside to another outside, bro. Bro, bro's an outside 2.0 like drew their guns on me and shit like that put me in the squad car and then they all just were like inside my house and like yo we got a warrant to search your person and your your you were outside they did a no knock raid the girls were inside they took you outside your house pulled guns on you put you in the squad car and then they came into your house and said we have a warrant for your arrest Make this shit make sense. Make this shit make sense. Yo, what what is going on? Yo, yo this this man switches up the story more than Sweetie switches up on niggas, bro. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? Nick, Nick this nigga is a fucking liar, yo. Ah, uh, bro, what the? F okay, how the fuck did they? Pull you outside from where you already were outside. And then how did they pull guns on you? Put you in a squad car. Somehow get your ass back in the house while you were in the squad car. And say we have a search warrant for your arrest. What? What? What type of blasphemy? Aye, bruh vehicle and and your house but they were suspicious of you probably. yeah they, they were trying to say in that i was like you know drug dealing or, or something like that okay and but you don't have a case as a result of this oh uh, nah i never heard back from them honestly yeah wow yeah if that's the case you never heard back from them i can commit grand theft auto right fucking now right now today and they wouldn't do shit if they didn't get back to you and they had a search warrant for you, they had a warrant for your arrest, they had, they pulled guns on you, they put you in the squad car, they raided your house, and they didn't get back to you? Nick, yo, I could become a fucking terrorist right now today. Right now today. And they wouldn't do shit. I could literally go to the mall, rob the Dior store, not the Balenciaga store because they're they're promoting CP. I'm I'm not R. Kelly in this bitch. I could go to the Gucci store, rob that shit, speed off in someone's Porsche, go home, steal some Jamaican food. That's Grand Theft Auto. Stealing, burglary, all those charges. And them niggas, if, if this situation is real, them niggas would just let me go. How the fuck did they not get back to you? You were in the squad car. Did they just let you go? You're not specifying enough. Did they let your ass go or some sh Okay, and so then you decide, like, how did the software underbelly opportunity even come about? Uh, well, I've been trying to do some, like, online stuff and just get that internet money and also promote uh, my girl's OnlyFans. Okay. Uh, so basically, check out Crystal Roses on OnlyFans, by the way. She's going up. Um, but now, nah, basically, I was just trying to promote that stuff, so I went on. All my niggas out there, do not check that OnlyFans, bro. Why, 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 why do you have OnlyFans anyway, bro? Please, please for me, delete OnlyFans, bro. Get on your grind shit, bro. That OnlyFans shit just makes niggas more depressed. I ain't gonna lie. That OnlyFans shit just makes niggas more depressed, bruh. You're paying for pussy. Aye, aye, aye. You gotta chill. Soft white, talking about my story. And then, yeah, that just kind of blew up from there. So what was the feedback like? Like, what would you describe as the most common comments that you saw in response to the soft on belly thing that were really yeah. driving it being viral? Oh, just a lot of hateful shit about the way I was dressed, mostly. 
people was like, and also I feel like they took a lot of the shit I said out of context. Like when I said I was homeless, that was because I just got evicted after the raid. The apartments had like kicked us out with some section eight that I was staying with my family and the girls. So they kicked us out of that. And then a lot of people were like, oh, why is he dressed like a part? Nigga, that apartment must either be huge as fuck or y'all have a fucking population problem in that apartment, bro. Your family staying there and the two girls from the interview are staying there. That's at least a good five, six people in an apartment, bro. I mean, I mean, hey, you you do your thing, man. Um, but I I I don't think he was joking about being homeless. I think he was homeless for a little while. Party city pimp, fake chains and all that, but you know, it's all real. You know, the the outfit, I feel like that's the most thing that people said was Okay, being... I'm gonna pause it right here. I know I'm pausing a lot, but I gotta say this. The chains may be real, this and that may be real, but you still lived in section eight. If you had the money to buy this chain, that chain, or whatever, you have the money to get your family out of poverty. This man was literally, this man literally, um, on the interview with um Sharpen them, he literally said that his mom was homeless at the time of the interview. If my mom is fucking homeless and I have chains on, nigga, those chains wouldn't even be on, bro. I'd be, I would. I would use that money to buy a house for my mom. What the fuck? Yo. All right, bro. All right. Disrespectful. But I was just doing that to get attention. But all my jewelry is legit and stuff. So, uh, been diamond tested, suspect, you know? fill me in on that. Like, is there yeah. is there something expected of you before you've earned the stripes to wear certain types of, like, pimp outfits? Nah, it wasn't even that. It was like, we felt like that shit, like, the equivalent for... To, to, to get everybody to understand, kind of like, kind of like blackface. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit was kind of like, like it, it looked like a costume. You you get what I'm saying? Right. It's like he I, came I don't in here. How that's a he came in here wearing that shit like in his head, like, oh, this is what pimps is supposed to look like. I got my little dollar sign chain, my yeah, little fur I got coat. Two of them. <sighs> but you do you like, do you feel like you know you could have rocked the same fit or something similar? But I mean. I'm true to this, so of course I could. But that's the well, same so thing. I, like I'm black, blackface. You get what I'm saying? Like okay. it's, it's like wearing blackface. But so, so like, but aren't there I, white pimps at these pimp white, conventions yeah, yeah. and white shit? Folks, white of folks, white folks is a popping ass white pimp. And you didn't I even you know who he was no, no, no. until right now. <laughs> but until I, the know new interview. I know who we he is. I know we asked you that last interview. You had no okay. This part, this nigga is not lying. Um, I don't think I have a reaction to the last interview because I, I I just watched it by myself. But in that interview, he did not know who this who this alleged pimp, his name is White Folks. Allegedly, he's a pimp. Allegedly. Um, he didn't know who White Folks was. He really didn't know. He didn't. So the fact that he's on here capping now is fire free dot. No clue. <laughs> you didn't now ask me you about know no white the, pimps last time? The nigga sharp said, you know who the fuck white folks is? You was like, no, I don't. You didn't know who the fuck <laughs> that was? He told me who that was on FaceTime before the interview Exactly. Happened. You yeah, didn't so know didn't who know white who folks was. was until we informed you. Until, until sharp informed me on a FaceTime until, before this interview. Until though. a pimp informed yeah. you yeah. who white who Exactly. But you, you know what I'm no saying? There's until, white pimps out there. Until somebody informed him before his interview. how it's blackface. That seems like you're bringing up racism where it doesn't need to be brought up. He's not breaking up racism where it needs to be. He's just he's just making an equivalent to it, like pimp face, <laughs> basically. Like you know how black faces, you know, white people, or I think any other minority. I, I don't know if it's white people or anything. I just, I just know it from white people. White people putting on like a a costume trying to be black. This is the same thing, but in the reverse. It's like you're not a pimp. But you're putting on a pimp costume, trying to be a pimp. You're not. You're not black. But you're putting on a costume, trying to be black. You see. You see where the analogy's coming from. He's not putting in race into it. He's just putting in the fact that you may not be telling the truth. Maybe. Maybe. That was just a. Um. That was just an analogy to get everybody to understand. I'm not saying that you were doing. It's, it's you said an I was doing blackface to basically. get everybody to understand. Yeah, because you 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 pulled up in a pimp costume. He was saying it was like blackface, but is, is it the fact costume. that he's white in general, or is the fact that no, he's no, no, so no, new no. in the game? It's just he's. It's, it's just because he's not really doing that shit in his head. <laughs> he came. But I'm like, really doing you that. Get what shit. I'm My pockets like, will prove that. That's like. What's a good analogy? Okay. If his pockets were able to prove that, 
his mom would not be homeless, bro. I'm st- I'm still on that, bro. How do you go to it? How do you go to an interview and your mom is homeless? Ah, st- oh, fucking hell, bro. Jesus. Sorry for using the Lord's name. Well, today. I just gave one, God. like blackface. But let's do another one, like 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 a nigga who go to the gym with all the shit. And he looking like he finna ball the fuck up. You feel me? And then when he get the ball, he can't do shit. But he came in his head like, this is what ballers look like. I'm going to get the headband, the socks, and all that <laughs> shit. You get what I'm saying? Like, but what if, that's what, what if I'm he saying. starts learning how to play ball, and then he starts balling harder than other motherfuckers? Right? Is he still impersonating at that point? Everybody's a little kid trying <laughs> yeah, to be like Michael we, Jordan we at one point, somewhere. right? And then right? Well, uh, the next day, boom, yeah. you He's are lying. Michael You're Jordan. You got to crawl before He's you can lying. walk, bro. So everybody starts somewhere, and I feel like y'all were hating on that because not even the race thing, because I feel like we're all the same, no matter what color we are. But I feel like it's because of my age and because of how new I was to the game that y'all just attacked me for that it. That has nothing to do with that. I don't really? Feel like, I don't feel like you're That's new to shit. That's not what it seemed like. You hate I don't white feel people. Like you're, no, not at all. I feel like you're not new to shit. I just feel like you're an impersonator for your SoundCloud career. You're not new to shit, nigga. But, bro, I don't even here. focus on music. Yeah, I came up in here I focus like, on the streets. I focus on getting money. You came here talking about you professing old school, and then you was like, we, yeah. we actually, where you learned this shit from, and then you said, yeah, I watched you. I watched short on YouTube, like, yeah, get the fuck out of here, nigga. I have no, it's not I... and that is the main problem. It's not his race, it's not his fucking age, it's not the fact that he's new in the game, it's the fact that he learned pimping from fucking YouTube. We say that again. It is not the fact that he's white, it is not his age, it is not the fact that he is new to the game. It is the fact. That he learned pimping on fucking YouTube. Now, there are a lot of things you can learn on YouTube. How to code. How to start a business. how to. You can, there's a lot of things you can learn on YouTube. But one of the things that you cannot learn how to do on YouTube. That takes some real world fucking experience. Is pimping. Now, I don't know the ins and outs of the pimping game. But I know damn well you can't learn how to be a pimp on YouTube. And if you do, you're just copying mannerisms from other pimps and then trying to put that into the world. What you need, from what I heard from like a bunch of pimp interviews, because I used to watch like pimp interviews OC, you need an OG to take you through the ropes. You need someone who's been through the game before to take you through the ropes. That's how, that's how... A lot of pimps were made. That's how a lot of pimps were made. Another pimp showed them how to do it, and then they did it. Some people were self-made. Some people taught themselves. But they didn't do it through YouTube. They did it through, like, real-world experience. And I'm not saying he hasn't done it in the real world. It's just the fact that you learned it from YouTube. It's a little, that's a little weird, buddy. That's a little weird. I ain't have no it's mentors not some shit in real you life. You could watch on 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 YouTube and in person and, and start nigga, getting money from get it. Get in the fucking streets, nigga, and get what some real experience. For what money? But, the, real experience. but the, the, all, experience. all these Every drill day. kids Every are looking day. at older drill rappers experience. and fucking getting but influenced really by out. that. And by the way, this is where this is where the, this is where the fight comes in. I'm, I'm, I'm I know y'all waiting for it. I'm waiting for it too. Right? Outside drilling though, but and he's really, really outside, outside pimping. pimping. He's not, <laughs> not really, he's not really. I brought two bitches he's with me. Not. I ain't never seen none of your bitches. That don't mean he got some work on the couch. None right. of your bitches, right? right. None right. of your bitches. Because I'm really doing this shit. What the fuck? I look like bringing some bitches in here. Really? You're a clown, well, nigga. You, need to prove you gonna get life for this shit? <laughs> you gonna get life for playing around, so how nigga? Am I gonna I'm really doing this shit. What the fuck do I look like bringing some prostitutes in here? Niggas get the book through at them for this shit. We get money. This nigga's a clown. You a fucking hater, bro? This nigga's a clown and impersonator, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. You're a clown. Fucking being nigga, a you're a clown, hater. nigga. Sus- he, he he said you're breaking one of the rules of the game. <laughs> this man, this man made the rule book. <laughs> hey, he made the rule book. He said you can't play a hate. Hey, Amen. Fuck out of here, nah, nigga. You're a bum, right nigga. Listen Go right get some here, money, bro. nigga. You ain't no what nobody track, Mr. Old School. You ain't got no fucking, fucking money, nigga. Pull some money, money out. Bro. You broke every ass, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. You's a bum. Again, if you got money every day, how the fuck? Is your mom homeless? Please. Please make that make sense. How the hell is your mom homeless? Now, I'm not playing anybody's side. I'm not on Kelpie's side. I'm not on Suspect's side. But please make this shit make sense. How the fuck are you getting money every day? 
how are you GMG for sure, but your mom was fucking homeless. I don't know if she's homeless now, but in that interview that I saw, you said she was fucking homeless. How, Sway? How, Sway? Are you getting money every day, but your mother's homeless? Please make that make sense. Uh, bitches get me money. Nigga, I pull right out of here. Them bitches dusty every as fuck. fucking day, bro. Them bitches dusty as fuck. And you ain't got fuck. no bitches. You ain't I, got no fucking cool. bitches. Okay. <laughs> I, I need y'all to... <laughs> Damn. I need y'all to watch the Soft by Underbelly interview, bro. That'll give you some perspective, bro. Because, like... I don't think he's lying when he said... Maybe his... Maybe Kelpie's girls just aren't my cup of tea. They, they, they was looking a little chopped, bro. I don't know. I, I'll say that. That's cool. You ain't got no bitches. Because right, when right, the police right. watching, I don't have no bitches. I'm a podcaster. Let me just interrupt real quick. I'm a fans manager when the police let, ride. Let me just Clown interrupt real quick. Nigga. Hey, you, bro. Okay. Okay. All right. I feel like he, like, like, suspect should not have came in with this type of disrespect. It, 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 if you're a true to this, you should try to guide him. Try to guide this man. Because... Shit, this, this nigga needs some fucking guidance. This nigga needs some guidance. I feel like suspect is kind of in the wrong for talking in this way. No bullshit. Because me, if I was in a situation, I try to guide. I try to guide him, bro. I try to guide him on some on some pastor shit. This young man needs help. He needs the Lord, and I mean not, not Lord, but like he needs the pimp in him or some shit. I don't know. But like, I would have guided him, bro. I wouldn't be like snarky and mean to this to him, bro. I don't think I don't think Lil Kelpie needs that right now. No bullshit. Hold on. <laughs> People try to pull that ball. pull that out on Sharp and stuff too. Like, yeah. where's your bit? I'm gonna be real. Like, they me and Sharp have been in the same group chat for like a couple of years at this yeah. point. So I've seen some of the girls they spends time with. He definitely has some attractive women in his life. I have no idea what their relationship is, but also, you know, you got to respect it. Like, fucking, if I had like all kinds of girls, I would probably try to keep some kind of distance between my professional life and bringing chicks around Thank all my you. employees and stuff. I mean, I am somebody who lives my whole fucking life on the internet, so it might be kind of different for me. But yeah. I mean, just because he don't necessarily, I, I seen him, I seen some women trailing him before. <laughs> <laughs> niggas better. Niggas I ain't really seen know, it. nigga. I'm I on tracks, boy. Fuck out of here. I ain't never nigga. seen no bitches. Who are you? I'm little Kelpie. No Kelpie the knows pimp. You. Kelpie the motherfucker. Kelpie the pimp. clown. Fuck you ain't gotta here. know who I am, fuck bro. Fuck out of here. Fucking Ben Franklin knows who I am, bitch. Fuck out of here. No. He knows who the who? fuck I am. I'm say- and this right here is where this nigga Kelpie fucked up. No bullshit. This part right here. Is when Lil Kelpie fucked up. When he said, Ben Franklin knows me, bitch. That is where the cookie fucking crumbles. You said what? Every day. I said, you Ben said, Franklin knows who, who the fuck I am, bitch. <sighs> okay. If, it, if there's one thing that you gotta learn from this whole experience, is. Respect people because he was acting disrespectful and he was acting disrespectful both to each other. But there's a limit. Like there are certain people in this world that can't, that can't and don't tolerate what some people say. And people are like, Oh, words don't hurt. Words will never hurt me. People will slide behind some words, bro. People will slide behind some fucking words. No bullshit. And there, there isn't a, there isn't a, there isn't a good way to say this, but people will fuck you up. People will rob you, steal you, beat you the fuck up. People will fuck you up based on the words you say to them. I know certain niggas in my clique, in my circle, that. If you call them a bitch, they're going to be like, who? Who a bitch, nigga? And then they're going, yeah. Like, certain, there's, there's a tolerance for this. Certain people don't tolerate certain shit. Like, me, for example. If some random nigga calls me a bitch to my face, 
Nigga, it's a fucking smackdown. I don't fucking know you. Like, you're a rando. And someone, and I know someone in the comments is going to be like, oh, it's just words. It's just words. Out of respect for me, I have too much respect for myself to let a random ass nigga call me a bitch. So, so, so I don't think suspect's wrong in this aspect. Because, and, and also, and also, he, 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 he almost let Kelby cop a plea. Let's watch this again. Man, fuck bitch. out of here. He nope. knows who the who? fuck I am. I'm you getting said money what? every day. He I said, who you said what? He almost let Kelpy cop a plea. Kelpy could have just said, Ben Franklin knows who I am. And then it would have been over. But he reiterated what he said. He wanted the smoke. Lil Kelpy wanted the smoke. He said, Ben Franklin knows who I am, bitch. He let him cop a plea. He, he let him cop a plea and he didn't cop that motherfucker. So, I respect him for not backing down on his words, but this shit about to get ugly, man. This shit about to get ugly. Fucking Ben Franklin knows who I am, bitch. Fuck out of here. No. He knows who the who? fuck I am. I'm you getting money what? every day. I said you Ben said... Franklin knows who, who the fuck I am, bitch. Who you calling a ben bitch, Franklin? though? I'm calling you a bitch. And he made it worse by saying, I'm calling you a bitch. Now, Ben Franklin knows who I am, bitch, isn't like, is, it isn't selective. He, he, he could have just been saying that to be like, oh, Ben Franklin knows, knows who I am, bitch. He's not, he, he, he might not have said that. He might not have meant that directly towards suspect. He, he, that, it's not really selective. But him saying, I'm calling you a bitch, that's selective. That's saying, I'm calling you a bitch. You. And that is where he fucked up. Oh, what? Spit on him and everything. Yeah. I am. Um, spit on him and everything. I hope y'all saw the... F because there's an uncensored version of the fight, bro. Whew. He left that nigga bleeding. He left him bleeding, bro. He gave him a he gave him a 12 piece with a side of fruit punch, bro. Nah, nah, nah. With, a, with some ketchup on that motherfucker too, man. No bullshit. If y'all were all trying to be in here chilling, why did you direct the bitch comment at suspect? I, I, bye. What's wrong with bro? As someone who has gotten beaten the fuck up before. Why the hell are you saying, oh, you still a bitch? Nigga, you are the bitch in the situation. You got fucked up. Okay. What everyone should learn from this is the fact that you should watch what you say at your goddamn mouth. Because certain people don't play that shit, bro. And like I said, suspect was being disrespectful towards, Kel towards Kelpie and vice versa. So... The tension was already hostile right there. I feel like if they were both to like not have been hostile towards each other, everything would have been cool. It all, it all started with the way Suspect was acting. So, like, one, respect others, and two, bro, just watch what you say at your mouth, bro, because someone will fuck you up behind that shit, bro. Like, and the fact that he, and the fact that he still said, oh, you still a bitch. I don't know if he was trying to like one up him or something or God damn. Hey, look at you. Come on. I told you.
He said, hey, bro. This man, was, this might be his man or something. He was really sitting there like, yo, bro, you got fucked up. You the bitch, bro. What the hell going on? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it should have been professional. Now people, now people are going to look at No Jumper and be like, damn. No Jumper invited me. I, don't, I can't fight. I don't know if I can go on No Jumper, bro. I can't fight. Like, this is very unprofessional. But you just got to learn to watch what you say around people, man. It's been your boy Marzo the Dawn. Second day. 25 days of Marzo. 100k on the way. Peace.